From now on, whenever we write code, we're also going to write tests and automated tests. To write and run automated tests in Python, we need to install and set up a testing framework. PyTest is a modern and powerful testing framework for Python, so we'll be using that. Python comes with a simple package manager called pip, but it lacks a lot of the ease of use from a modern package manager like npm or nuget. We'll use pipenv, which is the recommended package manager for Python. Before we get started, let's open Gitkraken and create a branch specifically for Chapter 2. To create a branch, simply click the Branch button and then give it a name. In our case, I'm just going to call it Chapter 2 and press Enter. That's it. Now, Git is outside the scope of this course, but I will provide links to resources if you want to learn more. Let's move on to a terminal to install pipenv. In a terminal, run the following command to install pipenv. If you are on a Windows machine, you can just do pip install pipenv. However, if you are on a Mac, then you're going to have to do pip3 install pipenv. The reason for this is actually pretty simple. If you try typing python space dash dash version, you can see how I get 2.7.16. If you're on a Windows machine, you're probably going to see 3.8. However, Macs come with Python already installed. It actually comes with a really old version of Python, which is at 2.7. If we were to type in pip install pipenv, we would be installing pipenv to the wrong Python interpreter. Now, if you do Python 3 space dash dash version, now you can see that we're using the correct version of Python. And that's why we have to say pip 3 when we do that. However, because we're using a virtual environment, we won't have to worry about this. I'm just showing you this right now, that way you're aware. So we'll do this pip 3, install pipenv one time, and then we won't have to worry about this ever again. Once installed, let's switch over to PyCharm and open the integrated terminal. You should see this venv at the very, very beginning. This means that you are currently working inside of the virtual environment. That's exactly where we want to be. If the virtual environment is not automatically activated for you, try closing PyCharm completely and then reopening it. If that doesn't work, you can activate it manually in the terminal. For Max, you would say source venv bin activate. Press enter and that would activate the virtual environment. If you're on a Windows machine, you can manually activate this by saying venv scripts activate dot bat. If you're on Windows and are using PowerShell, then instead of using the bat file, you will use the PowerShell file, activate.ps1. But hopefully you will never have to activate it manually because PyCharm should handle it for you automatically. With the terminal open, run the following command to install the PyTest package. pipenv install PyTest and press enter. Once this completes, you will see two files get created, a pip file and a pip file dot lock. Let's open up the pip file to see what it looks like. The pip file is a manifest that keeps track of the packages and dependencies for your project. This is helpful for you and others to know what is needed for the project to work. Instead of having to keep track of everything you installed and need manually, pipenv will do all of this work for you automatically. The lock file, on the other hand, is not very pretty, but you actually don't need to worry about it. pipenv uses this file to manage the project. 
later on, as we install more packages, really all you need to make sure is you understand how to install them using pipenv install and then the name of the package. All right, with PyTest installed to the project, all that's left is to configure PyCharm to use it. We're going to go up here to PyCharm and Preferences. Again, for Windows, it would be Settings. We'll switch to Tools, Python Integrated Tools, and then change the default test runner from Unit Tests to PyTest. With that, click Apply and then OK. We're now ready to start writing automated tests.